Okay, welcome everyone on this wonderful Monday evening as we learn the Mishnah Yaimis in the Numa Septa, Maseptas Nadarim, as we are sponsored Lili Nishmas, Matzio Chaim Ben Yaakov, Lerfu Shalem and Fel Yom Moshe Ben Chayesara, for Avram and Yom Benish Ben Malkudis and family. We're also sponsored by the Fisher family, Lili Nishmas, Basi Bas Rabbit Shalom, Ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain. We learn. for Meir ben Chayesara and sponsored by Yol Klugman for their Gesund Parnasa and Nachas. Okay, um, as we are in the beginning of the Dorim, I want to give a little bit of a preface. Uh, the Torah says that we have uh, the ability to create a Nidre Iser, a prohibition with Nidorim. There's a way to create an Iser with a Shmua. The difference between a shvua and a neder, first of all, shvua is more severe than a neder. Secondly, a shvua is an iser on the gavra. So I say shvua loy oichel. I swear that I won't eat. Shvua lo uh, yelech. I swear that I won't go. Neder is an iser on a chefza. I say, kikr ze alai kikarbon. This loaf is to me forbidden like a carbon. Or, mayim ze alai, I don't mean it, but kikarbon, like a carbon. So, the din is that if you want to make something oser as a nether, you have to compare it to something oser. However, you just can't say anything oser. Because the Pasuk says, Lindor neder. Achi yidor bedover hanodor. You have to make it compared to a man-made iser. To an iser that's created by a man. So, for example, what's an iser that's created by a man? A carbon. It's created by a man. The wood for the altar the logs, the gizri hates him, are an issa that's created by a man. So I could say, kikizek carbon, kikizek hates him. If I say kikizek basa chazir, although chazir is of course aser, pig is aser, it's not a dover another. The issa was not created by man. I can't, if I say kikizek avedizara, it's not aser. Because the Torah asked Avodah It has to be something that was created by you. Now when I create this Isser of an Eder, there's a special term for this. It's called, and it's good to be familiar with this term, because it's used all over Shas. It's called Hatfasa. Hatfasa means I liken it to something. So now, says the Mishnah, as we are learning, Mishnah Gimel, in the first parak of Nadarim, Ha'aymer lo'i chulen, it should not be chulen, and therefore lo'i oichalach, it should not be mundane, and therefore I won't eat it, that's an edit. Because it's not chulen, rather it's hektish. And therefore lo'i oichalach. Now you could say, but maybe you meant it's not chulen, it's avodizar. You're right. But we have another rule, stam nedorim lahachmir. If we're not sure, we go lachum. We go stringently. Loi kosher, it's not kosher. Rather, kosher means you can eat it. No, it's a carbon. Therefore, loi oichalach. Loi dochi, it's not pure. Rather, it's forbidden. Or tar, it's not tar. It's rather forbidden. Now, forbidden could mean that it's tummy. And if it's Tame, because it was touched by a Sheretz, that's, again, not a human-created Isser. But again, Stam Nadarm Lahachmer, we mean that it's not pure, but rather it's something that is forbidden to you, as Hektish, and therefore that's an Eder. Now, this is a bigger Chiddush. The Tame Noiser of Pigel. He says this kicker should be like something that's Tame, or something that's Noiser. Nicer, carbonas have a shelf life. Like a shlaman could only be eaten for two days and one night. 
After that, it's nicer, it's left over, and it's an iser chorus. Pigel is if I do one of the four avodas hadam, one of the four blood services of a carbon, shrita, kabbalah, hilacha, zrika, slaughtering, accepting the blood, taking the blood to the altar, and sprinkling it. If I do any of those four blood services with a thought that I would do it I would eat the carbon after it's allowed time or smoke up the offering after it's allowed time. It becomes pigle and it's also an isakars. Now you would say, Rabbi Weiss, well for sure these are isure taira. Eating a carbon that's tame, eating a carbon that's nice, eating a carbon that's pigle is an isataira. And an isataira is not allowed. That, that's not a nether. But when we say tamay nice or a pickle, we mean a carbon which has the strictures of tamay nice or a pickle. But we're f- referring to, we're saying the loaf should be like a carbon. And that's therefore a good nether and it's us. Or if you say ka'imra, like a lamb. Now like a lamb could be just a permitted lamb. But we say stam nadam lachmeng and we mean like a lamb of a carbon. Or kadirim, like the carbonists that are in the pen, ka'etzim, like the wood that are uh, the logs for the altar, ka'ishim, like carbonists that go on the fire, kamizbech, like carbonists that go on the mizbech, ka'heichel, like the inner carbonists that are offered inside the heichel, kirishalayim, like the carbonists that are eaten in Yerushalayim, or noder be'echad mikom nisham shem mizbech, or somebody makes a vow, with some of the accessories of the Mizbech, like the forks or the bowls, which come from money that's dedicated, and therefore they are also a Dover Anod. Ava Pishalo Yiske Karben, if you know he didn't mention the word Karben, Harizen Nodder Bekarben. This is tantamount to making a Nodder with a Karben, and therefore it's a good Nodder. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Haimer Yerushalayim, if you don't say the Chafadimian, you don't say like Yerushalayim. You just say Yerushalayim, lo yamaklum. Rabbi Yehuda says you have to use the Chafadimian. You have to say that this should be, this bread should be like. Ha'imer karben oila mincha chatas toide shlamin. It should be forbidden like a burnt offering, a meal offering, a sin offering, a thanksgiving offering, a peace offering. She'en yoichel, that which I would eat from you, it's awesome. Now the Kiddush over here is that I might say that a chattis is not a dover another because the sin offering you have to bring. Uh, a taida, somebody gets out of jail, somebody comes from a sea journey, somebody comes from a, the wilderness, he has to bring a taida. I might think that that's not a free will offering. But since you create the issa with your, the, your mouth, it's considered a davar another, and it's also. Rabbi Yudah Matar, Rabbi Yudah says again, you didn't say ke'ayla, ke'menchi, you didn't say the chafadimian, and therefore it's mutter. ha carbon, 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 it should, ha carbon, uh, using the hey idea, the carbon, like a carbon, carbon, or carbon, she'aychalach, that which I eat from you, is also. La carbon, lo yaychalach, which Rameir interprets to mean la korban yehei, therefore lo yaychalach. Rameir holds it's awesome. Ha'imer Now remember I told you that when you make a neder, it's an iser chefza. And therefore the neder has to go on something tangible. If I say it should be a koinim that I won't speak with you, that's not a good neder. Because an Isr Chavza can't be Chal on speaking, because that's not a tangible. But I could say my mouth should be forbidden with a Ned, because my mouth is tangible. So, my mouth should be from, forbidden with a Kainim. Kainim, by the way, is like saying carbon, it's a, a Kinui le carbon. A Kainim is a substitute slang. So, if I say it should be forbidden with a carbon, my mouth that speaks with you, or or my hand that works with you, 
or ragli mahalkasimach on my feet from walking with you, Asik. Because I wouldn't be able to say it should be forbidden with a nether walking, talking, or uh, speaking, because that's not tangible, but I could put the iser on my mouth, my feet, or my hands. Now, by the way, it's normal that this is very unusual, because we're not familiar with the strictures of nether. Uh, but th- we'll learn more about it, and it will serve us well in our learning about Nadarim throughout Shas. Again, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock with, uh, oh, you know, I didn't even say, I'm getting so sloppy. Uh, we don't have a sponsor yet for the Chumash here tomorrow night. So if somebody wants to step up, 718-916-3100, R-M-M-W-S-I at AOL.com. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful evening.